Yeah, that's probably one of the biggest areas that people forget about. And the reason they forget about it is they probably don't even understand the value of it. Because having a family meeting, and, and there I strongly suggest having a family meeting that's moderated or facilitated by someone, an outsider, who's truly independent. But also all members of the family need to be included, including uh, the in-laws or married-ins, as well as the family members. And a lot of times, owners of family businesses don't even want to think about the problems that that can, solve, that, that can raise uh, by having everyone there. Because they look at their company as being very private. They've always looked at their own self as being very private. And it's hard for them to share what their feelings are as to where they want this company to grow and how they want it transferred on to the next generation. And if they only want to transfer it to certain members of the family, they know there's going to be a huge problem. So rather than face it and talk about it, they ignore it. Until the will is read, then the whole family finds out that it went to a few and not all. And it's much better to talk about that ahead of time. And, and family meetings uh, is probably the best way to communicate what's going on in the business as far as succession. Because there, you eventually, your goal is in having a family meeting, your, your overall goal is to get the family to buy in to what needs to happen to this business. Then you can tell the board members and the top management team or all the employees what's going to happen so that they can run the company in that fashion because that gives the board members then good information so that they can then direct the president and the management team on how to operate this company. Now that is an ideal state, which very seldom happens, <laughs> but that's the ideal state.